So this could potentially be my second review in a row, but I promise I'll switch things up next time. I'm just doing a review for this now since I'm about to go return it to the library. So today's book review is going to be on The Fever. Very interesting cover there. So I'm going to set up the premise as a spoiler-free review. The book is narrated by three characters. Deanie, who is a girl in high school. She has her group of friends. Tom, who is a high school teacher in the same school as Deanie's father. And then Eli, who is Deanie's brother and Tom's son. And they're just a happy little family. Their mother like left a long time ago after she had an affair. And they're in this high school. Now one day, Deanie's best friend has kind of a seizure or something weird happens. She collapses in class. She starts shaking uncontrollably. And it kind of causes a lot of rumor to go around, a lot of panic. Because soon, other girls are also getting sick in really strange and weird ways. So it kind of creates this hysteria, this crazy environment where the, there's tons of different scenarios and there's like there's like this hysteria over it and people think that they're getting contaminated by something, speculation about what's causing this, um, whether it's vaccines or pollution. It's really weird. You don't know what's going on for half the book, for the majority of the book. Um, I enjoyed that premise. It sounded really interesting. It sounded like a, it sounded like a psychological thriller. And this is adult fiction, but I felt it was extremely repetitive. Um, so a lot of the conversations would just would just consist of, "Hey, did you hear what happened? Yeah, I heard what happened. Did you get the text?" And it, a lot of like gossiping, constant gossip, just just people being like, "What happened? Like, what's going on?" And, and I understand that that was to create the atmosphere of this is a small town where everyone knows each other's business and, it, and that's why there's such a panic now, there's such a hysteria where all these girls are just coming down with this weird illness and not even the doctors, the police officers, just no one knows what's going on and whether all the cases are related or connected to each other. So Dini finds herself in the middle of this because two of her friends get sick and she doesn't. Um, but like, as I said, it was extremely repetitive in some moments. Like, and I enjoyed it. I think the last 50 pages were the best. They were the most suspenseful and they kind of make you, you're finally getting some kind of answers. Things are starting to come together. But, and I think the author does a good job at creating family dynamics and she catches the essence of what bad friends can be because I feel like there's some toxic friendships in this book um, and they're very, they're done very in a very subtle way which is nice because sometimes toxic relationships or toxic friendships aren't so obvious to the people in them so that's my review I give it three stars and a half I don't know I heard good things about this author though so I'm going to probably check out her other books if you've read fever let me know I've seen both really really positive reviews and very negative reviews. Let me know where you stand with this novel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Do you know what I mean? I don't know if anyone else has ever come across that issue, but that used to be a very big issue for me, especially since I look so young. So a lot of times people would see what